a highly universal paddle with power, touch, and feel, this is the Head Gravity and Gravity Light paddles. Head's Gravity Series was designed with years of thought and forward-thinking innovations. From the Sweet Spot Power Core, designed to boost ball rebound energy across the entire hitting surface for a massive sweet spot, to the hybrid hitting surface that combines the best attributes of graphite and composite fibers, the Gravity Series is loaded with useful technologies to dampen feel, maximize spin and power, and offer the largest sweet spot Head's ever created. Weighing in at 8.1 and 7.6 ounces, these paddles are powerhouses that have touch and can benefit any game style. Now we play tested both the Gravity and the Gravity Light. These paddles are identical in size, hitting surface core, everything minus the weight. The Gravity comes in at 8.1 and the Gravity Light is 7.6 ounces. Now I gravitated toward the heavier paddle, the 8.1, which is not like me. I typically do like that lighter paddle, but the way I had balanced this, the 8.1 was really the paddle for me. Right out of the gate, I noticed when I grabbed this thing, it was perfect for me. They use a rounded grip and it's also four and a quarter, which fits perfect in my hand. And then another thing that I loved about any head paddle that I grabbed is the consistency in the manufacturing. When they say their paddles are gonna weigh 8.1 ounces or 7.6 ounces in the light, that's what you're gonna get. We typically weigh three paddles. I went and weighed six of these paddles and they all came in at 8.1. And that consistency is really important when we grab another paddle out of my bag, I know it's gonna be exactly the same. Now, I like the 8.1 because it gave me a little more stability when my opponent was hitting back at me. I would love to hit this massive sweet spot all the time, but in reality, it just doesn't happen. And when I hit around the edges, I still felt that extra mass, that extra power able to get my ball back and I'm staying in those rallies. Now that said, the way this thing's balanced, I still can turn on my serves, on my ground strokes. I didn't feel like I lost any paddle speed, which is really important to me. Overall, this is my favorite paddle that I've ever hit from head. The Gravity Light is a great option too. If you like a lighter paddle and you like to kind of whip it around or you're really defensive, a great paddle for you too. But the Gravity Light was second and the Gravity was the winner in my book. So the first thing I noticed when I picked up this paddle was the width. It's a little bit wider than the Head Radical series, which really limited my miss hits and it created a larger sweet spot on the paddle. The next thing I noticed about this paddle was the textured face. I'm used to playing with the smoother face paddle. And what I noticed when I was hitting is that I was generating a lot more top spin. And coming from racquetball, I hit with a continental grip. And I feel like I can't generate quite as much top spin with that grip as a tennis player coming in with a Western or semi-Western grip. So I really helped, I really feel like that textured face bridged that gap and allowed me to not change my game. The last thing I noticed when I was hitting with this paddle was the thickness. It's a little bit thicker than the Head Radical series, which I felt gave me a lot more touch and feel while I'm playing the dink rallies of the net, and then also while I'm hitting my third shots coming in. Overall, I really enjoyed this play test. In my opinion, the Gravity Light was a winner in my pickleball book. Well, that wraps up the review of the Head Gravity and Gravity Light. If you guys want to see all the specs, technologies, or any more information, click the link below, or as always, visit us at TotalPickleball.com.